Hey guys, Troy Moldy with TM Listings, and I'm here with Jeremy Peterson with Remax Remote Results, and I'm doing our monthly outreach for the month of September 2020, and what a year it's been. And today I'm just going to kind of navigate walking through, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, HUD process. So when you find a property on the HUD Home Store website, and you're going to place a bid, and then your offer is accepted, what happens afterwards is you'll get an email from the asset manager saying that your bid's been accepted. From there, they're going to require that you get an earnest money check uh, that's made out to the title company. So when you're making a bid, you select your title company, and the earnest money check is made out to that title company. It must be a cashier's check or money order. It cannot be a personal check. And that earnest money check is given to the listing agent. The listing agent will give you the winning bidder a earnest money receipt. You're going to upload the earnest money receipt along with proof of funds or a pre-approval and the lender is going, or not the lender, I'm sorry, the title company is going to upload that they have the uh, proper insurance requirements to close on a HUD transaction. When those three things are uploaded, the asset manager will review and if they're all done properly approved then what will happen is you'll get an email um, as the buyer's agent with uh, to sign off on the purchase agreement once you sign off it goes to the buyer once the buyer signs off it goes to the title company once the title company signs off it goes to the seller and the seller ratifies the contract and emails it back to you with utility activation instructions as well as uh, an email that will have information on any amendments or changes that you need to make and which who you need to contact for those. It's important when you're going through uh, to do all these initial steps timely because you're only allotted so much time and the contract will cancel. So if you get your offer accepted, the first thing you do, if you haven't already, is get the earnest money check to the listing agent and then once you upload those documents make sure you follow up that after you sign it tell the buyer hey you're going to have a an email to sign off on on the purchase agreement and make sure you follow up the title company because it can get caught in between somebody misses it it goes to a junk mail and you just want to make sure that that process is moving forward a lot of questions and a lot of uh, delays come in that step so just thought I would do a video on walking you through how to do that and next time I can do a video on utility activation so uh, that's all I have for this month and uh, thanks for checking in and we'll catch you guys next month